I guess we're back with adorably tiny puppy school. So I've just been working on the delivery to hand. If you said, how's it going? Extremely well. Extremely well. You've got to stick with it. And For a treat, Vicky. If you said, "What? Look what I got, girl! Little tiny Christmas watches for them to pick up." And these little tiny Christmas stickers. <laughs> I didn't look inside. Anyway, I'm gonna make little tiny presents. Oh, how cute! Look at how cute these tiny stickers. Are. Oh my God! No! Oh, I can put them on their little tray. All right, so let's just work on this. So I've got my watches. They've got a little bit of a noise factor, but I'm not trying. I'm not looking to move everything around. If you said, "What am I not looking to do?" I'm not looking to get a foot pole and attract them to move me. If you said, well, "That's not the exercise," it involves dead objects. And if you said, "Well, the dead objects," if you move it around, they're going to get it. It's when it's not moving that. They will lose interest in stuff. So that's where it is where people go wrong. They start throwing a ball, throwing a ball, throwing. Pretty soon it's the ball, not the people. The ball can go way faster than the people. They just need them to throw the thing. Their focus is the ball, not the handler. He said, evidence by what? No, the handler can pick up the ball. All right, so he's going to hear it drop. <laughs> you little peanut. They just think it's magic now. Somehow you pick that thing up and it turns into food. Oh, it's like magic. <laughs> well, that was an 11th place group. If you said what needs, a couple of them need to fall asleep. Push each other out of the way. We don't really care. If you can get a nice clean right in front of them. <laughs> Little peanut. Whoever emerges. almost impossible. I knew she had it though because I could hear it. You do need to, you know, if you said, well, I use sound in my dog training, in my voice, I would say, you need to use your ears. People need to use their ears more in dog training. You know, like the other day I told Chris, I said, the reason I turned around, like I heard the dog closing on me like a buffalo. That's why I turned around. <laughs> You know, I'm using my ears just instinctually to hear that one. All right, let's some of you get sleepy. Sleepy. Just get sleepy. We're waiting to do it. There's nothing else to do. We're already looking down. See, he didn't do it. He stood up once he was really going to be committed to it. Oh, my God, you both got it. You both got it. Oh, you little peanut. This one can do the hold. Hang on. I was teaching this hold, too. Anyway, I got all kinds of new party favors. 
to work with them. All right, hang on. All right, so the mold is... <laughs> These little watches are perfect for two reasons. One, the shape, it's easy for them to pick up, and two, just it makes that little bit of a noise, just enough to have a very distinct sound. I'm very delicate though. I'm my hands are just utilitarian devices that are delivering the food and taking the object. They're not there to instigate, rub their head, or if you said they want their faces rubbed, they don't want their face, nobody wants their face rubbed. Nobody wants to rock around and have their face obscured that I know of. If you say, what about horses? Well, they do put those blinders on. So, if you said the movement's attracting them, it's not as much as really now, at this point, the sound. Because if he hears it, he, hear, he really didn't see it move as much. All right, listen, girl, I'm going to go make a video, but make sure and stay tuned. I'm going to have a, a, the next couple of weeks a bunch of, bunch, a bunch of episodes with these. If you said, what are you looking for? I am looking for a puppy that will sit there and look at my eyes. If you said that's what it's it's that's what it's doing. They're looking, they're looking for clues. If you said, well, you've got your gestures are are, are micro gestures. That's the only reason. Yes, if my gestures were real huge and large, and my hands just keep coming out, just emanating from my body. Pretty soon they're way over there. They're way over there. You can watch people interacting with groups of puppies. People that can't keep their hands off them. They're rubbing them. They're doing all these things. Pretty soon the puppies have gone off. If you said that, then pretty soon these people are ch literally, I've had to stop people from chasing after them. If you said kids, no. Full grown men with their arm out, reaching, chasing after a puppy. If you said these guys got no game, yeah. That's the problem, people have no game when it comes to dogs. They think it's dogs love them and will just reciprocate by huge macro gestures of hand and rib slapping, and this dog will love us and do whatever we want. Except for it doesn't work out. Except for it doesn't work out that way. All right, this one might do the hold, watch. All right, listen, I'm gonna go make a quick video with my new, look at this one, look at it. Not crunch. Or no, this one's, that's the curl. That's yours, Sandy. Here's Butter Crunch. I could tell Butter Crunch, because his legs are so big. His legs are so big. All right, listen, let me go real quick. I'm gonna show you guys, I'll stay. Uh... Oops. Oh, sorry. I'll stay uh, live on YouTube though, and I'm just gonna make, make a, a quick video. What I've started doing is just shooting a couple minutes and just being like Steven Spielberg and editing out the stuff I like. <laughs> I think that's the way to do it. So trying to just shoot clips. If I, if I went to movie making school, they'd say, yeah, you're doing it all wrong. You're trying to film complete scenes at one time. <laughs> I need to just edit stuff out. So, all right guys, I'll be back later though. And if you want, go over to my YouTube and I'm gonna try to start going live on there more. I don't go live on there enough, so. If you said, I'm, once I decide to do something, I'll be, I'll be live on there six, eight hours a day if I'm not careful. <laughs>